गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम जेविन प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर एम पी शर्मा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजियोलॉजी टूडेज टॉपिक इज माई मोडुलर नेम इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फिजियोलॉजी अंडर दिस इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फिजियोलॉजी इन होम्योपैथी सब्जेक्ट फिजियोलॉजी एंड डिसिप्लिन फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथी साइंस होम्योपैथी जी ए साइंटिफिक सिस्टम स्टडी ऑफ एनाटॉमी physiology and biochemistry are very essential to understand the person coming before a homeopath for treatment not only that bhms student have to study social and preventive medicines pathology and bacteriology forensic medicine even if they don't perform autopsy surgery even if they don't perform it obstetrics and gynecology even if they don't conduct labor and even allopathy pharmacology and it was postulated that these in living or awakening force forces are an equal and of opposite reaction to excretory function of the kidney furthermore it appears that the sodium ion which plays a relative minor role in a plant kingdom assumes very much greater importance in the animal kingdom through its role in the awakening process those who framed the syllabus for these courses did so with a clear vision in some re- recent discussion at the royal london homeopathic hospital the idea was put forward that the kidneys and adrenals acting the acting in concert provide the mechanism of the awakening forces to manifest in the physical body and these awakening forces are considered as a function of the astral body by the anthroposophical school we know the example we know for example that the sodium ion plays an important part in neurological neurological function and neuromuscular transmission as well as cardiovascular function the adrenals and kidneys are responsible for the maintenance of the electrolyte and acid base balance and therefore should be great importance in the functions of the astrals as well as the vegetative or etheric function potassium is the predominant cation of vegetative functions hence its preponderates the plant kingdom and intracellulary in the animal kingdom if one studies the homeopathic materia medica critically it becomes clear that the idea that homeopathic prescription prescri- prescribing based solidity on toxicologically studies are proving in accuracy it appears that many prescribing indicated indications are based on the observation that a given remedy is same to benefit patient with certain sometimes ill defined group of the symptom and characteristics which are given pride to pride of place as mental and general symptoms it seems like therefore that many of these symptoms are not toxicological phenomena but the reflection of underlying pathophysiological disorder which empirically improve when a particular remedy or group of remedy is given furthermore since the higher potency do not apparently indeed it is common prescribing practice to give the higher potencies on constitutional ground and the lower potency 
for local symptoms with gross organic changes. It was therefore felt wrath while to, to, to look at adrenal physiology and pathology in the light of the, some these ideas and see if there is any possible relationship between the non diurnal variations of adrenal function and various homeopathic remedies, particularly with regards to time aggravation and the remedies considered here are the proteus group of the include natremure, conium, cuperum, ignatia and secret corp, chamomilla, the bacillus number 7 groups which is mainly composed of kali salts in conjunction with one of a halogen and finally cactus Z before considering these remedies a brief outline of adrenal physiology and pathological syndrome may be helpful. Intimatory intermediary metabolism proteins catabolism hepatic glycogenesis and glyconeogenesis or all increased with the result that the blood glucose rise there is in addition a peripheral anti-insulin fact. Some of these actions as well as other glu glucocorticoid facts are maintained mediated via increased synthesis of RNA with the resultant increases in the formation of various enzymes. Now adrenal medullary physiology. The adrenal medulla is in effect is sympathetically sympathetic ganglion in which the postganglionic post neurons have lost their axons and become secretory. Adrenals is the major catecholamine excreted noradrenaline. Noradrenaline is also excreted but in much smaller quantity. Most of the Circulating noradrenaline is secreted by sympathetic nerve ending. The medical tradition of homeopathy has been separated from the conservation. Conventional science for a long time, conventional scientific wisdom detect, di, uh, dictates that the homeopathy should have no effects above placebo but experiments on ultra high dilutions of solute together with some clinical data suggests the intriguinine possibilities that it might do in some circumstances, circumstances to do to today and osmotic process between discipline previously seen as in conflict is facilitated because over the last few decades homeopathy has initiated the method of current medical science and a substantially number of experimental studies at molecular cellular or clinical levels are available one area of dialogue and common progress is the more is that of inflammation and immunity probably because these are closely related to the traditional vital force of the body self, is, body self healing power. In the series of the paper, we review the histological, historical origins of the homeopathy, the laboratory and animal models related to the field of the immunopharmacology, the clinical evidence in favor of the against the use of the homeopathy in the inflammatory diseases and the hypothesis regarding its action mechanism. Finally, we will enlighten the specific characteristics of the homeopathic approach which places great emphasis on the identifying a cure, of, cure for the whole organism. 
the main principle of the homeopathy is unique a unique scientific system of the medicine established by the Samuel Henman two centuries ago is that of similia or smile similarity which means let like be cured by likes in other words when subsequent is capable of inducing a series of symptoms in a healthy living system low doses of the some substances can cure these symptoms under certain circumstances similar similar cure in turn during the period of the medicine involved evolved as now never before and in homeopathic theories and pharmacol pharmacopias have also been scientifically investigated albeit slowly with the considerable delay in comparison with the those conventional medicine however the fun fundamental nucleus of the homeopathy has been little discussed similarly frequently considered unscientific because the statement of the henman or other homeopaths are not supported by documentary proof a various principle of the similarity henman as a scientific henman homeopathy various homeopathic innovations such as electro homeopathy and various type of the alternative therapy is included herbal medicines have been indescribably confused and this has led to the conclusion being drawn basis of this summary subjective judgments unless these sources of the confusion are constantly and completely acknowledged and corrected little progress can be made in clarifying